So summer was June, correct? But you don't have to actually show the picture on your phone. No, I just, I need, I need, I need a, a visual, a, a place to go to. I took Ace to an arcade. Stop. You don't even remember what you did, huh? Can you get up just really quick? Yeah. Oh my God. What? Is it a spider? What is it? A worm. Careful, you have a cord on you. Drop your head, sit on my lap. It's like trapped in it. should just stay right here the rest of the episode. Malik is a much safer chair. And I quit! <laughs> I Never. can't work like this! <laughs> wow. Have you ever heard of the saying, memories last a lifetime? Well, today we're gonna live up to that infamous phrase. We can all attest to having busy schedules and overall just always having so much to do. But the truth is you should really stop to smell the roses. And I literally mean stop and smell the roses. On today's episode, we're taking a moment to appreciate all the finer things we have in our lives, like our family and the people that matter to us the most. A picture's worth a thousand words, and we're gonna share some memories and moments with you guys from our individual camera rolls. As working mothers, it is not hard, but very important to us to find time to spend quality time with our little ones. So seeing that I have a new little one, baby Capri, it's so important to me to catch these milestones of like saying first words or crawling or eating her first snack or whatever. Like I just really wanna be there for that and I like to capture it as well. So this is one of my favorites. This little ham, I can't. Capri's actually one of the first babies that I've seen in a long time to just fast forward every milestone. So okay, mm -hmm. if they say at three months they should be doing this, six months they should be doing this. Capri is literally doing what a one-year-old should be doing at this point. It's just all very fast, but they also say babies that have older siblings and are surrounded yeah. by a lot of children ultimately grow kind of fast. And she has... She's literally done that. She said and continued to say hi at seven months old. She says bye now, she bye says dada. Da. Actually, I'm always impressed with the placement and it being done correctly. Yeah, when the kids come in from school, she's like hi, hi, hi. like to all three of them, hi, hi, hi. hi. She just wants their attention and, and she does this. Yeah, it's like pick me, me up, pick me up or, or give me a snack or come here and give me what I want. <laughs> She's bright. We eat a lot of food together, <laughs> meaning I have to share everything she sees in my hand because now she knows what food is. She's eating solid, so it's like if you have something, she's <laughs> it's just. No, she's like that goes in like my mouth. Bird. It should go in my mouth. Yeah, she's like you're eating that. Just put a little right here, and she. Mm -hmm. She makes it annoying. It's, it's kind of like Ace. Oh. They really enjoy food, like the beginning of their lives when they start eating food. It's the cutest thing. She likes to watch like her baby Einstein videos, and so when the intro comes on, she's she rocks and dances. The dancing, for the me. dancing is really big. She does a little jerk of the body. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's the Bahamian. Yes. <laughs> she does all this, and oh, she started doing this now. So we do, we do a little dancing, we do lullabies, we do cartoons, we do a lot of playtime on the floor. So we're scooting and crawling. And soon, we have never had to baby proof. We might have to baby proof for this one because yeah. she's into opening drawers and cabinets. I've never had a baby do that. But number four likes to open things. I spend a lot of time with Capri watching over her. This one you really have to be a hawk over because she just, you don't know where she's gonna She's get into. busy. I have a lot of videos and pictures of her eating food. It's really cute. Another quality time moment. My husband Bobby was turning 40. Now, although he was in denial about that, for me it was the big four zero. So I took about two, two and a half months, and I planned him a surprise birthday party in Key West, Florida. He is from Miami, Florida, but has tons of friends and family locally in that area. So when asked, what do you want to do to celebrate? He said, I just want to go home and go fishing with my boys. So 
that's what we did. Instead, I made a whole weekend out of it. It was like a whole Friday to Sunday, Monday type of thing. He assumed, because I made him, assume only that we were gonna do exactly what you wanted. Me and the kids are taking you to Florida for your birthday and we're gonna have fun and you're gonna take the kids fishing and all of that. Well, little did he know, there was tons of people joining him for this weekend. So he had his parents, and his best friends, his siblings, and their children all weekend. And we just had a really good time. It was fun. You planned a great party. Thank you. I'd marry you. You should. One of the things that I didn't think I was gonna have to do, I just assumed I could call the local bakery <laughs> in Key West, Florida, and it would be easy to have a cake made. Wasn't that easy, I couldn't get anybody on the phone. I had to ship a cake from Los Angeles, California, all frozen, all the way to Key West, Florida. And if you know Florida in August, it is humid, it is hot, the cake sweats. We did all that work and it didn't stand the absolute test of time because of the weather, but the cake was good and it was adorable and he was shocked. I think every detail was just shocking. From the very moment on the first day, he had my brother and my cousin, and those are some of his very best friends. He didn't think that they were coming to Key West, so they were a big surprise. And I was like, oh, you didn't think I was gonna make you spend the whole weekend with just me and the kids, did you? And so he thought that, great, I have the guys here with me. And then that evening, I had the first surprise, and that was his cocktail hour, where everybody was in a room, and they said, oh, your table's this way. And we were all in there. It was just him and one of his best friends. And they opened the door and we were all surprised. And he had his accountant and his best friends from childhood and his parents and my parents and our friends from New Orleans. I mean, I just called in. He had ex-teammates. I just, I went through the Rolodex. I had friends calling friends, placing invites and then the next morning, they had a fishing trip, they had a blast, they sat at the bar, I couldn't get him to pay attention because he was having too much fun. He didn't know if you would focus and get dressed, you have another surprise party coming this evening. So then everybody went to the surprise location. We had a beautiful yacht club reserved and was on the water with the boats and candles and a really full stocked bar and a DJ. We walked into that outdoor dining area and surprise, there's more people there because not everybody could make it at the exact same time. Because it was a, a weekend affair, everybody could come in and out whenever they were able. And so it was just a really fun, great weekend and we finished it off on Sunday for his actual birthday with just like a hangover brunch. That's a really strong weekend. I don't yeah. know who wouldn't be happy with that, 40 or not. So being able to create a memory like that is absolutely something I'll cherish forever. My favorite thing since things have become more normal is I truly love dating my son. <laughs> he is probably one of the most fun people to have a meal with. And I'm very proud that at such a young age, I can sit in any restaurant with my child and he has really good table manners. Yeah. Now, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I am taking <laughs> it while I can take it. I've had compliments from people inside the restaurant, like I could never get my four-year-old or my six-year-old to sit as quiet as he does. Well, there's an iPad there. Okay. <laughs> you might not see it in all, all photos. There's a distraction. But there's a bit of a distraction, but he's not screaming. He's not crying. He really loves to dip his own french fry in his ketchup. He thinks he's grown. He doesn't yes. want mommy's help like that. So it's just really, really sweet to see how he evolves. And he loves people. Everyone that walks by the table gets a high. Like, even if they don't know, he's just like, hi, hi. He loves seeing things. Yes, he's so impressed mm -hmm. with life. He's a pandemic. You know, he, so yeah, he so like getting him out of the house and it's just like the simple things of like dining outside when it, you know, was like safer to take everyone to go to dinner. Him sitting outside to dinner and like he loves to draw. So he's 
very fascinated with the little kid menu that comes with crayons. Oh. They drop it off at the table and he's like, oh, wow. He just makes everybody feel like what it's they the probably do all the time is pretty amazing. Seeing life through my son's eyes is the best thing that I've done. We have a great time. Our dates are really fun. Ace and I, we do it, okay? Nothing stops us, whether we have a guest with us or not. <laughs> Me and my baby hit it. He's just such a cutie, just, Look at this little guy. He's just sitting at the table. I never even knew that I could put him in a booster seat and he wouldn't slip out. He did amazing. He mm -hmm. was in a booster seat. They were like, shouldn't he be in a high chair? I said, he's fine. He listens to mommy. He'll stay right there. There's gonna come a point where Ace does not want to date mommy anymore. That's true. I'm wearing it out while now. he can't say, mom, I don't wanna go. I try to make sure that we go to breakfast, lunch, or dinner twice a week. Most times we always make a dinner. Our favorite thing to do is dinner at a steakhouse. It gets louder at night. He likes that energy. One of my favorite things that we did with the kids this summer was swim lessons. We did a lot of swimming this summer. It was really fun, really nice. And, and our Celine kids- And Celine learned how to swim together. They did. Ace, you know, Celine definitely he, he learned, learned how to swim. the fundamentals. He learned the fundamentals. My young. son is a Pisces and a water boy. He would try to Focus. jump in the water. So it was like, it'd be best if we just get him a little bit of training. Not that he can, yeah. can totally understand. One, two, three, hold your breath. We try. Swimming coach is amazing. I trust him with her thoroughly. Cause I know a yes. lot of people are like, oh, they're so young. Why would you do it so young? I'm like, I think Safety. some training is better than no training. One of my favorite photos of Ace from the swim lessons this summer. He's a little fishy. He really is. He's such a brave boy. He made me so proud of him. I was like, you don't care at all. He was like, let me go. Let me do this. I was proud of both of them. I really was. And especially because Celine kept asking for swim lessons. Mm -hmm. And then like right up until her first lesson, she was like, I'm nervous. I was like, it's okay to be nervous. It's fine. But her teacher made her very comfortable and she can swim now. And I just think that it's a milestone. Like I'm happy to have done it. I think I actually cried because maybe five minutes into the lesson, she had her head under the water and I could not get her to do that on my own in the pool. So I felt like, almost like she didn't trust me. And I you mean, wanna feel like you can help your child do something like that. But clearly I just didn't know how to teach it. And she taught it and she was swift and she was under the water and I was like, oh, her face is under the water. And I had a little emotional moment, but that was really, really sweet. I guess it's not really about where the lesson comes from, it's just that they get it. Very true. I remember going to the zoo when I was a kid. Whether it was a trip with my mom or a school field trip, yeah. I remembered going to the zoo. When I thought about having a kid, I didn't really imagine I'd be at the zoo all that much. The zoo became like a safe haven for all things that Ace and I have truly grown to love. So we are proud zoo members <laughs> and we pack up at nine o'clock in the morning and we are at the zoo when the doors open. Yes, they are. And we have lunch there. Ace and I love a date with the giraffes. I don't know if you guys know anything about giraffes, but they are just incredible. <laughs> I happen to think they still are part of the dinosaur family. Like you guys can't tell me that giraffes and elephants are not some kind of dinosaur. I, I, I don't know, whatever. I would err on the side of that with you. Right? Just a little. They're, I don't know. No, I don't scientists know. don't know if that's don't, a whatever. fact or not. It's fine, I'll, I'll take I'll that go L. With you. I will take that L. But the bottom line is Ace and I are thoroughly impressed. We go to the zoo a lot. Look, it's a lot, okay? It's starting to feel like every weekend. I gotta... Uh, yeah, it got, for a minute, it got a little crazy because the more <laughs> my son started talking, he would see one of the animals and he would just start yelling, Raph, Raph, Raph. And I'd be like, you know what, son? I'm taking you to see the giraffes this week and that's it. You're going yeah. to see the giraffes. Then it just became like a thing and I was like, he thinks everything I'm really, is no, no, but he really knows. He really knows when he sees a giraffe. Except for he does think the sea lions are sharks. I don't know where he got that from. He but says shark. He says shark, shark. I'm like, no baby, that's not, whatever, fine, it's a shark. They're in like, water, it's not that far-fetched. Whatever, okay. he's one. But we, we do have 
a great time on our zoo dates. Like, it's the way I see it. My son is learning and picking up just about everything, and I think his influence is really important. Yeah. And I didn't get to do a lot of the things I wanted to do with him very early, but these times are great because, not that he'll actually remember them, but I think they just have a bigger impact on his life. And I can one day tell my kid, you know how you learned about the animals? I took you to see them. And it started with me taking him to the local farmer's market that had lambs, goats, sheep, chickens, ducks. I wanted him to have outdoor experiences because that's the way I was raised. I didn't spend a lot of time, time in the house. Games. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we played those things and we had Game Boys, but most of our experiences and memories, not that they were documented like that. Like yeah, my mom were. wasn't chasing five kids with a camera. She was just like, in the moment and experience. Yeah. And I'm just thankful that not only does my son get to experience all these things, but I'm able to document them and I can show him later. This is how you learned about farm yeah. animals. This is how you learned about zoo animals. This is what you and I did when mommy had time. And this, our quality and time embodied some of the things that you really truly loved growing up. And I'll be honest with you, I might be enjoying it more than he is because I don't remember well, the last you time. understand I, everything so you can have a greater appreciation. I, I think that's what it. I everything. think that's yeah. what it is. It's like you know, none of my friends are like, "Hey, you guys, we should go to the zoo this weekend." Yeah, it's just it's just not, not you know. But I find simple joys with my boy. My son is obsessed with cars. If it has a wheel on it, he likes it. He likes it. He now knows the difference between cars. We happen to live close to the fire station, so every time a fire truck goes by, my son started to mimic the siren. He started to go, wee 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 So whenever we would go out and eat outdoors, Ace finally got to see that that's a big red truck with lights. He's like, oh, wow. So I was like, I'm gonna take my son to see the fire trucks in real life. He loves the fire station, he loves the firemen, they put the hats on his head. It's like the sweetest, most authentic joy, and it's free. Truck. Did you have fun on your field trip to the fire station, buddy? And Never. the fire stations like visitors. They do, they and I think it's come. nice to go by and show appreciation because I didn't teach my son to like fire trucks or firemen. He genuinely likes them, and I love that they give their time and energy, aside from all the other truly important things, to the little people that love them. This picture here is of Ace and I at the fire station. I'm so into going through memories now that I can't get my head out of my phone. Another thing that Ace and I really, really love to do, aside from our dates to restaurants or the zoo, we do go to the library. My son has a really nice book collection that he's very fond of. I think I read at least 20 toddler books a day. I want him to be into reading in general, and he is, so I take him to the actual library, and he just like scroll, he'll pick a book out, whatever random book, and I'll read whatever portion of the book he will allow me to read to him. And then we close, one, exactly, and then he closes that when we get another one. I want to continue his love for reading. I think that it's something that he gravitated towards on his own, so I just want to cater to it. And we also color at the library. The librarian always gives us sheets of paper and there's a bucket of crayons. So it's just something else that I do with him that expands his mind. It gives him doing things that he likes to do. And again, it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> it's like a smile and a thank you. Simple pleasures. So this picture here is Ace at the library with his favorite little crayons. He's the cutest. <laughs> Maybe he'll be an artist, I don't know. While we love to enjoy like quality time with our children, it is still very important to Malika and I to make sure that we have our bonding time. So we still try to do at least once a week where we have a breakfast, a lunch, or a dinner together. Or a Pilates class. Yes, there are also times where we end up having breakfast and lunch because we don't want to leave, leave each, each other. other. It's actually kind of pathetic because if we're in two cars, I still we FaceTime just, her in between. Like we were supposed to be together the whole time. So we don't miss any of our time. Yeah, we really utilize so I would justify our time. It. That's okay. If you don't know anybody that you love that much, then it's fine. That's okay. If it's face to face, even better. But 
It's the time well spent. That's the way we like it. We normally do not go and get crab legs without the kids. And we yeah, were like, I was scared. Wait. Should Remember, we? I was like, like, I might smell like it. Yeah, and, he, and Christian know. might know. Imagine being scared of your 10 year old for getting crab legs without him. That's how much he loves it. Yeah, so just we, just, we just said, you know back. what? No, maybe we want to actually go and eat crab legs and not have to share our meal. And we'll or just spend all of our time cracking their legs yeah, than can, our own. That's, no, we're just, and we did it. And we and had it was beer. So fun. And crab we had, legs. Think about it. We've never done that before. We've ne we had not never crab. done it. We just said, we almost were like guilting ourselves. Like if we go do this without the family, that is so wrong. We enjoyed our crab legs different this time. It was just like me and you. Yeah. And of course, at the end, we still took crab legs home. Today, we kicked it hard. I'm like proud this. of us for that. Yeah. <laughs> that was hard kick it. You don't have to go out. You don't have to do the same things all the time. It's just about creating memories that matter to you. Quality time is the most important thing and being able to look back and say like, we really did enjoy each other and, and we did take the time mm -hmm. to smell the flowers and give each other our flowers. However you find that or deem that necessary in your world, in your life, within your family, just make sure that you do it. You'll never regret spending the time with the people that you love. Yeah, document it, keep the memories forever. Have you ever gone through your camera roll and just reminisced on your memories? Comment below.